who's even a little bit sick off campus, which is why those pre-screening questions are so, so important. And even if you've been exposed to somebody who's a little bit sick, you really, you should not uh, come to school either. So please, uh, my plea to all of you is make sure yourself and your parents are really honest about filling out those questions. Keeping sick people off campus is number one in terms of importance. Number two in terms of importance is stopping anybody from sharing the virus with anybody else while they're on campus. That's why we always wear masks when we're inside the building, uh, when we're in our classrooms where we can't uh, maintain that social distancing, we must make sure we always have our masks on at all times. During the day, when you're on campus, you'll be able to go outside and space out and have mask breaks, and the teachers are gonna be planning lessons once we get into September where we're going to have mask breaks as well. But the reason we wear these masks is to prevent the spread of the virus between people on our campus. That's why we wash our hands really frequently. That's why when we've been sitting somewhere for a long time or you know where we've been sitting to have our lunch, we're gonna be spraying down the tables uh, with sanitizer and wiping it down so that we keep the virus off our campus. That's really, really important. It also brings me back to the mission of our school. If you think about the times that you are living through right now, uh, it's a, a global pandemic, and hopefully you don't see many more of these in your lifetime. But ultimately, we're going to have to live with and survive through and thrive through uh, the times of coronavirus. It's likely the virus is going to be with us for months, months, and months. And we're going to see surges, we're going to see peaks, we're going to see troughs, we're going to see surges, we're going to see peaks, we're going to see troughs. And really, we're going to be living with this virus until such time as there's a cure or there is a vaccine. And we believe, as of everything we're seeing right now, that that is many months away. So all of the common sense things uh, that we're doing uh, to allow us to be able to keep school open, uh, to keep school going to keep you guys learning, sometimes on campus, sometimes virtually, and combinations therein. And so the mission of the school is to develop courageous leaders who shape their communities for the better. So think about it. We're starting school at a time that is absolutely unprecedented. So how are you going to build those connections, that community, those relationships, when you're socially distanced, when you're in small pods? How are you going to connect with friends across your grade levels? How are you going to start building those relationships with your teachers? You know, these are all going to be new things, new ways of being for all of us, all of the adults who are standing around the room and you can see on the screen behind me, but also for you guys as well. And so know that we're all going through this together. And there is no stigma with the coronavirus. It's a global phenomenon. Uh, there is no shame uh, with the coronavirus. It's a global pheno phenomenon. But it's something that we have to live through. And the way that we do that, how we interact with each other, how we engage, how we connect, how we communicate, so, so important. So as you're beginning this school year as new students at Atlanta International School, please, please reach out to each other, reach out to your teachers, uh, reach out to the new classmates that you're going to meet. Most of you will be meeting them virtually, uh, beginning with school when school begins on Thursday. So please be really, really thoughtful and deliberate about trying to reach out and to connect with folks. Your teachers, your heads of year, your principals, your counselors, of course, are going to be doing the same. So we try and build that community that is so special here at AIS. Why is that even more important, um, you know, for a school like Atlanta International School? Most people come from somewhere else. We have so many different nationalities, languages, and cultures, and ways of looking at the world inside our school community. Something like close to 100 nationalities here. Something like 
60 to 65 different languages spoken here. So really, really important that we build those human connections with each other, with our new classmates, with your teachers as we move forward into this fall semester. That's my plea, my request to all of you as the, as the head of school. I'm gonna turn it over now to Mr. Patterson and Ms. Jones uh, to say a few words of welcome. And then I believe our heads of year are going to be taking uh, their, the, the respective year groups off uh, to carry on with the orientation. Mr. Patterson, Ms. Jones, would you like to come and say a few words? Good morning, everyone. As the upper school principal, for those in grades 9, 10, 11, and 12, what I want to take this opportunity is to tell you how important community is to us, particularly in this time when we are going to be forced to be further apart from our peers, our colleagues, our teachers, and our friends in this. So community is going to be our word as we drive through this year, looking for opportunities where we can make it, where we can find it. And as Mr. Glass said, how do we be courageous leaders in developing community during a pandemic? So I want to welcome you all to the upper school. It's great to see you all here in person, even through the masks. And we are looking forward to this exceptional year and getting back to close to normal next year. Thank you very much. Hi, good morning, everybody. So I'm Michelle Jones, I'm the middle school principal. This is kind of strange, right? The way we're beginning here. And if it feels a little odd, that's perfectly normal. It was a little odd for us as well when we began. But what I can tell you is when you get used to these different protocols, it starts to feel okay. All right. So I wanted to welcome you. I also wanted to say on a practical side, things are going to have to be a little different this year. And there's some stuff that we're going to ask of you. For example, you're going to have to be pretty organized. To my middle schoolers out there, that I know it can be a challenge. We're going to work with you and we're going to support you. So in everything that we're asking you to do, there's a layer of support there as well. Okay, reach out to us. We're available on email. If you are new to our community, we are very, very open. You can email your principal, you can email your head of year, you can email your counselors, your teachers, and your advisors. The other thing I wanted to mention to you is that it's going to take us a while to find a rhythm. So please be patient with us as we get into this, as we will be patient with you as well. We welcome you. We are looking forward to a great year together. Send them off now to the interview. All righty. And so thank you to all of our folks on the panel. If you could wave to our new students one more time, that's great. Uh, Reed Mazel is our head of admissions. Um, uh, wasn't on the call before. So thank you to our, our panelists. What we're going to do now is send our uh, new students off with their heads of year so they can carry on their respective orientations. Okay. So thank you, panelists. Appreciate it. And should we start with grade seven, Mr. Simons? So if you are in grade seven, grab your bag and please follow Mr. Simons out the door to the back. Okay, grade sevens, grade eight, uh, Mr. Benheim. So if you're in grade eight, please follow Mr. Nathaniel Benheim. There he is out the back. Good luck to our eighth graders. If you are ninth, 10th, 11th are all staying here. Okay, so grades nine, 10, 11, and 12, you should be here. If you're in grade seven or grade eight, you should have gone already. Are we good? Do you want, do you want them organized in grade nines over here? Grade, they can stay where they are. All right, do you want the microphone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome again. Um, we have a short video we're going to start with. So the rest of the, for the next hour or so, um, we'll start in here. There's a video we're going to show and share with you about some new protocols that we're taking. And then we are each going to take you on a tour of the campus. Um, as well as share a whole bunch of information about schedule and any answer as many questions that you may have that we help you with. If you did not get a welcome box, um, there's boxes in the back with names on them. So if you didn't get a welcome box and your name 
it, and your name is back there, you can grab it after when you're ready to go um, at 11. Um, if your name is not on the box, just let your head of your know, and then we'll let Ms. Chandler know, and they'll get, we'll get you one. But if you did get it, then you know all the goodies that were already inside it, and, um, and that's a good thing. Um, so after we do the tours and we have some conversations with you, 9 and 10 are going to come back into this room, and then they're going to work the IT department is going to work with you on some IT things that are going to be going on. And 11s are going just down the hall. But um, we'll stay in our little um, grade level groups. Mr. Ford, you have. Oh, yeah, let me do that while I. Number. Nicole, you good? Um, I'll figure it out. I'll be okay. We are really looking forward to welcoming our students back to AIS safety.
by the time using the appropriate clean products. For more details, please take a look at the COVID-19 platform tool and watch out for any other updates from school by Thank you for watching. Some of the things we're going to be practicing today while we're off campus, um, such as we'll be cleaning the tables and we will be going through the dismissal system. We will be going through the dismissal system together as a group today, and it's actually our first time doing it too. So it's going to be an interesting little adventure. Um, can you raise your hand if you are a walker? If you walked to campus this morning? Okay, so you have a different set of instructions than everybody else. Did everybody else enter this morning through the ASD? Did anybody accidentally go through the front of the school? Okay, great. So everybody knows where the ASD is. We're going to go on school tours in a little bit. But for now, if you are in 11th grade, can you please stand up and come with me? And 9th and 10th graders are staying in here with Ms. O'Brien and Mr. Ford. <laughs> 